Yo, what's going on guys? And today, I want to talk about the Charlotte Hornets have too many forwards, wings, whatever you want to call them. And that's what I want to talk about. So before we start today's video, I'd love to hear those beautiful, beautiful opinions down below in the comment section. And let me hear what you guys think of their current situation with the amount of forwards that they have. So right now, I'll put them on the screen. And it's pretty interesting the amount of forwards you have. We can all agree that they... The reason they brought Kelly Oubre on was A, he wasn't that expensive, and B, he's a very good insurance policy for our man, Gordon Hayward, who missed a number of games this year, which, albeit, it was because of injuries and stuff, and it wasn't that, he, he had a good year, he followed up his year, and he had a better year than Celtics, but he played 44 games out of 72, so, you got over here, so let's just talk about the team pj washington we're gonna have pj washington kai jones Jalen mcdaniels and jt thor are all power forwards and i really think they shouldn't be included in this conversation because i think they're just gonna be playing power forward or center i don't the only one who could play small forward is either pj washington or Jalen mcdaniels but i don't i don't see them doing that so we're not going to include them in this conversation what we're going to look at is Gordon Hayward, Kelly Oubre Jr., Miles Bridges, Wesley Owundu, and Cody Martin, and James Booknight. Okay, hopefully I said Wesley Owundu, the name correctly. Tell me down below if I said it incorrectly and how to say it correctly. Now, I believe Cody Martin, they're also under 17 players. They have DJ Carden and on a exhibition deal and Scotty Lewis and Arnold, Arnaldis on a two-way contract. Tell me how to say Arnaldis' name correctly. Cole Boca, but what we see right here is I think it's very interesting because I expect Cody and Wesley to be cut because they'll bring the roster to 15 and DJ Carden not just to be cut and probably signed to the G League team. So it leaves us with what I believe Miles Bridges, Kelly Oubre, and Gordon Hayward with James Book Knight playing the swingman position. If you guys are not aware of the swingman position, swingman is back in the day. When I first started watching basketball in like 2006, seven, they used to sell swingman jerseys and swingman jerseys were for players who played the shooting guard and small forward position. I digress. Either way, so James Booknight is along those lines. He's a, a shooting guard, but he has the ability because of his length to play the wing position. So I expect the starter to be Gordon Hayward with Miles Bridges being the primary backup with Kelly Oubre being the other primary backup. Because I, I expect a lot of lineups we'll see is maybe LaMelo Ball, Kelly Oubre, Miles Bridges, Gordon Hayward, and PJ Washington just playing this ultra floor spacing transition, not the best rebounding, but perimeter based team. Because right here, you you probably either want Miles Bridges or Gordon Hayward playing the power forward position. I personally would want Miles Bridges and then Gordon Hayward at the small forward, and Kelly Oubre is athletic enough to play the shooting guard. There you got Miles Bridges and Kelly Oubre being good defenders. LaMelo can play defense. Gordon Hayward's on his best days a plus defender. P.J. Washington, same thing, but him playing center, he he will get beat a little bit, but this is a team that I could see being people on transition. They will, and then you look at the future where P.J. Washington, Kai Jones could be, Kai Jones could be the starting center, and because Kai Jones is a center power forward and JT Thor is the same thing while Kai Jones is more of a center power forward while GJ, JT Thor is more of a power forward center and this is a team that's looking to be very versatile very lengthy and very switchable as the center rotation is probably going to be Mason Plumley, Nick Richards, Vernon Carey and I, I really think that's that's going to be their center rotation and PJ Washington maybe a little bit with Kai Jones but I don't think Jalen McDaniels or JT Thor this year are going to see much of there. And your point guard rotation right now is Terry Rozier, LaMelo Ball, and Ish Smith. With the shooting guard rotation looking like it's probably going to be Terry Rozier, James Booknight, and Kelly Oubre. Really, I probably it's Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, and James Booknight. So Kelly Oubre will be playing a little bit of shooting guard and small forward, I believe. While Miles Bridges will be playing small forward and power forward. And Gordon Hayward will probably do the same. I think the reason they're doing this is, again, they want to be very switchable. And I think that's what James Borrego is looking to do is make this a very switchable team. 
And I think it's definitely going to be very fun to watch. And I think that's one of the reasons why they drafted Scotty Lewis. I don't know much about Arnaldus. I would someone tell me about him down below so I get antiquated with him. But again, guys, I think this is a team that if you look at it, they have the ability to switch a lot. Kelly Oubre can guard one through four. Miles Bridges can do the same. P.J. Washington can guard two through five, I personally believe. Kai Jones can guard one through fives. J.T. Thor has the potential to do that. Jalen McDaniels can guard three through five, you know. And they have Vernon Carey, Nick Richards, and Mason Plumlee, who are just good rim runners, rebounders, and have the ability to protect the rim. And they're guys who are not going to do anything outside of what they need to do. So I think right there that's good. And they have... Ish Smith as the backup point guard, who's another guy he's not going to do, he's going to limit his mistakes and just try to do what he's good at. So yeah, I really think Wesley and Cody are going to be cut. Cody Martin, they already cut his brother, so. And James Booknight will come in to stretch for, I don't know if he'll play t- too much his rookie year, but we could see. I think Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward will be moved on from. I think Gordon Hayward before Terry Rozier, because Terry Rozier is still younger and he's not too expensive, but I do expect we could see Gordon Hayward, not this season, maybe next season, get traded. Just because I think they would benefit from that and his value, he's just going to continue to increase it. So, yeah, I I think what we're going to see, Gordon Hayward's here. Kelly Oubre is going to primarily be the primary backup shooting guard for Terry Rozier and also splitting the backup small forward spot with Miles Bridges. Or Miles Bridges could start in Gordon Hayward, but I doubt it because Gordon Hayward's getting paid. So Gordon Hayward's probably going to start with Miles Bridges and Kelly Oubre's best, splitting the backup spot there with Miles Bridges also playing a little bit of power forward and Kelly Oubre playing a little bit of shooting guard. <clears throat> I do really like the idea of a P.J. Washington, Miles Bridges, Gordon Hayward, Kelly Oubre, LaMelo Ball lineup. That is a team that as soon as PJ or Miles Bridges gets a rebound, hands it off to LaMelo. He starts going full court and does one of his, you know, on the fast break passes that I think are phenomenal. So definitely would be a very fun team to watch. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's the video for today, guys. I want to hear those lovely, lovely comments down below. What do you guys think of the team? Do you think they're ready? And yeah, I think... That's where we're going to leave it today. I'd love to hear those opinions down below. Besides that, guys, I'm going to peace out. We're going to milk this to eight minutes because, you know, that's how YouTube gives you the good money. But, yeah, besides that, I've had a good day. I've had a good day. I hope you guys have had too. But, yeah, I'm going to peace out in a second. This is at 7.55, so have a great one, guys. Puppies. Ooh.